Hey guys, Priscilla here. Um, I'm here tonight with dinner on our Deluxe Grill and Griddle. Um, this is something you can actually do in the grill pan or um, on the outdoor grill, whatever you want. It's our Jamaican Jerk Chicken recipe from uh, this month's um, Taste Buds. So that came and I mixed up a marinade and I used our immersion blender to mix up um, Jamaican Jerk seasoning with some olive oil and the liquid aminos, some garlic, a little jalapeno pepper, uh, salt pepper, uh, things like that. And I just blended that and lime juice too. Blended that all together. Now I'm only doing half the recipe. I did make the full marinade, but I'm doing half the recipe. So I'm just doing three chicken thighs and they're bone in skin on chicken thighs. And you can marinate it 15 to 30 minutes. The longer you marinate, the better the flavor is gonna be. So then I've just set my um, deluxe grill and griddle on preheat so I have a probe in because I'm going to put the probe in the uh, chicken th one of the chicken thighs and I love this because it will actually quit whenever it's time when the t uh, chicken comes to temperature so set it for 160 uh, chicken will continue to cook a little bit even longer after you take it off and we're just gonna grill it. I like this because I'm, I'm doing it this way because I can grill both sides at the same time and I don't have to take that little bit of extra time that you would do for flipping uh, when you're doing it outside. Now I have some asparagus and I'm gonna throw that on there as well. I know asparagus isn't the main thing that would go with Jamaican jerk chicken, more like uh, beans and rice would be better. However, um, I have this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grill that up. I gotta sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on that. Now this takes about five minutes to preheat. So while that's going, I'm gonna flip these chicken pieces another time just to get a little more of that flavor on them. And we're gonna, then we'll, I don't know that I'll put the chicken, the asparagus on at the same time. The asparagus won't take so long to grill, um, really. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll put that on part way through probably. So, and then I actually have some pineapple and I think I'll grill some pineapple to go with that too. Now that'll go great with Jamaican jerk chicken, um, at least in my opinion. And anytime you can grill any kind of fruit, it brings out that sweetness to it. And that'll go along with uh, a little bit of heat. I don't know, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of heat, but a little bit of heat from the Jamaican jerk uh, will go well with that sweetness with the pineapple. And like I said, serve it up with rice, rice and beans, maybe a corn salad, whatever you want. But um, I'm doing, I'm going to be doing uh, asparagus. I'm going to just go ahead and I got our new bottle. And I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil over these. And then I'll sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on it. I'm just gonna cut them right here, right on my cutting mat. So, cause that's gonna go in the dishwasher afterwards. And I do love the cleanup with the deluxe grill and griddle because um, cleanup is gonna be a breeze with those plates. Once they're cool, they will go in my dishwasher. Let me wash my hands here. I'm mean, dying to try this. I do like, um, I guess I missed the beep. So it does, it's flashing at me. It says add. We're gonna turn that around so you can see. You can see it's flashing and it says add there. So we do have, it's time to put that on. Now, this is not as level on my cooktop as I would like it to be. But let's go ahead and put the chicken on. I'm gonna pick probably the biggest piece to put the probe into so and let's go ahead and do that right now And this does have a catcher um, as far as a um, grease catcher 
underneath this if you want. Oh, I can smell that already. Let's go ahead and get this clove put in there. And we'll get that to the get this part. And we're going to tilt this so we get it on our chicken. So it's pressing the chicken all around. So that will cook. It might take eight to ten minutes. Up my mess here that I spilled right there. And then we're going to hit the button. So now it's going to keep track of the temperature of the chicken. So that's all there is to it. And you can turn your grill and griddle with your fan on if you wish. Let's get this out of the way. And you can see the chicken right now since it's at 42 degrees. We'll let that cook till it's time for, um, so that's done. Make sure you're watching it cook. And I will be back. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have a, a great rest of your evening. I will post this recipe on, on, um, on the page, um, but it's one of our taste buds with Jamaican jerk seasoning. And if you haven't tried Jamaican jerk, you can do Jamaican jerk nacho, nachos. Um, it's great on chicken, and it would be great even on fish, fish tacos as well. So lots of things you can do with that Jamaican jerk seasoning. And when you've got the deluxe grill and griddle, you can cook on both sides um, at the same time. It's going to make that cooking go a lot faster. So. I will come back with a picture of the finished product, and you th I thanks for joining me. You have a great rest of your evening.